visited somebody that had a negative dream overnight. God said, I've just cancelled the potency and the programming in that dream. Yeah. Open your mouth and just say, Father, Father, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for seeing me through 2020 and into 2021 and now the first Sunday. I'm grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. You deserve all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we um, give it thanks. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we recite your word. I say praise your Lord.
33 or so. So that that which comes from above. So whatever help you can get anyway, the one that is from above is the greatest of all help because that is God coming into your matter. We told them in the first service that many of us are trapped in so many things. Some people are trapped in failure, trapped in loneliness, trapped in disappointment. Over and over, we are calling. Some people are trapped in sickness. Some people are trapped in barrenness. Some people are trapped in just name different things that many of us have been trapped in. But congratulations, the air that we need is coming from above. Amen. Not from our blood group. From our from our, our way. Both of them are starting with A. Yeah. But blood is different from God. It's from above. We gave them a clip. We told them about 10 years plus ago now. Somewhere in northern Chile. So minus 33 of them, they were mining. All of a sudden, they kept just, the mine just crashed. And they found that they were trapped 2,300 feet. Is it my head or feet, self? Beneath the head. Very deep. Who will come and rescue them? And many of them, and they were there for 69 days. How many months is that one? Two months plus. Under the ground. <laughs> ah, the darkness and the of it, this kind of thing has not happened before. But somehow it took the government 20 million US dollars to gather resources to to um, to design things that will drill to that particular point. And they are careful because they will not drill in a kind of way that it will cause people to give on them. And they threw them with family and oxygen, the first drill, and they started sending oxygen to them. Then for 17 days, because they could not reach them, the food and the water they have, they to the outset, they were just minimizing it to just sustain themselves because they were emaciated. After a while, they now drill where they will be passing bottled water. To them. They even said that the food that they were present to them, they made it very small because after 17 days that they have not been well fed, they couldn't just bombard them with food. It could affect them. So they were increasing the food per day and sending some medication to them. Take that break and just give us briefly, you know, how they brought these people after 69 days. You mentioned the whole world is watching while on the surface the tears and cheers and joyful reunions. Again and again and again. Prayers answer. It all began shortly after midnight local time as a rescue engineer strapped into the 26 inch wide escape capsule named Phoenix 2 and then began the still unproven mad trip below. 2,040 feet down the shaft through some of the hardest rock on earth. 17 minutes, 22 seconds later, first contact. It worked all the way down and soon, as a billion viewers around the world watched the image like a transmission from the moon, the 31-year-old Florentio Avalos would prove with this first trip to the surface, the capsule worked both At 11 minutes after midnight, as Florentio was the first to end his seven-day crisis, his son, Seven-year-old Byron touched everyone's hearts. Up next, 39-year-old Mario Sepulveda. When he cleared the escape pot, his celebration thrilled the nation. He surprised Chile's president and rescuers with souvenirs, pieces of rock from the cave <laughs> His energy belying a man trapped in a mine for more than two months. They now call him Super Mario. He hugged and kissed just about everyone. And then said of his ordeal, I met God. I met the devil. God won. No one has needed a stretcher. In fact, all the miners look remarkably fit. Still, paramedics use one into the triage area. Well, the survivor's first request is met. 
a hot shower. The one-liner whose love life played out while he was down came up late this afternoon. Yoni Barrios was met not by his wife today, but by his mistress. The two women discovered each other when this crisis began. And the headlines around the world reflect the breathless reaction to the drama playing out on TV screens everywhere. Never before has mankind ever retrieved any living person from this death. Gosh. In Australia, miners who themselves had once survived being trapped in the depths were moved by the rescue of these miners, but worried too. It's all going to take the toll in the end of the day. But mostly, from the rescue of the first miner, there's been wonder and so extraordinary an outcome. Even journalists on the scene, including our colleagues, deeply affected. My heart was pounding, I was crying, I looked around me, every single reporter, every single person in that crowd, grown men, in tears. President Obama spoke for many. This rescue is a tribute not only to the determination of the rescue workers and the Chilean government, but also the unity and resolve of the Chilean people. Logic said the miners would have perished. The human spirit said otherwise. President, in whatever thing you have been trapped in this year, very early this year, the earth will come from our home. Yeah. I will take you out. Yeah. You are trapped in so many things, and we need that divine rescue thing. But we said in the first service that for one condition for you to get that help is cry on the world. In the book of Psalm 18, 6 and 7, Psalm 18. Six and seven. It is when you cry unto him that he will hear you and he will send help to you. I did not say that if you ask him, shall be given. Don't just assume that things will just be done automatically. In my distress, I call upon the Lord and cry unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Seven. Then the earth shook and trembled, and foundations also of the hills moved and were shaking because he was wrought. The Almighty God will visit your foundation. Yeah. Foundation means that that problem in your life started somewhere. That problem is not even know, and it has lingered. Whatever the foundation of that situation, because of the help that God has promised us from above. The Almighty God will visit the foundation. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the book of Psalm 3, 1 to 4, Psalm 3, 1 to 4. He said that many have troubled me. Many people are having so many trouble at home, at work, in the family, in the neighborhood. But you have a God that can deal with every of the troubles. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul. There is no effort for him in God, say that. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of my head. What did he now do? I cry out to the Lord with whose voice, with my voice, and he helped me out of the holy say that. Say, Lord! Help me financially, help me maritally, help me concerning my health, help me concerning all my aspirations. Help me. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. As God has heard that cry from you, help is being released to you. Another thing, apart from prayer, is praise. When you praise Him, you attract His presence into your situation. In the book of Psalm 22, verse 3, Psalm 22, verse 3, the Bible says that God inhabits, he lives in the praises of people, his people. Meaning that for you to attract him, for him to come and live with you, you must build a house of praise for him. Where will he be when he comes to your life? But that I told you, oh, thou that inhabited the praise. Inhabiting means that lives inside, reside inside. Meaning that you can create an atmosphere that is conducive for God to come and live in your home, with praise. 
when you pray, even if that physically that atmosphere could be something, a place that people don't like, when you praise him, God will come there and it will change from some your situation. It happened to Paul and Silas in the book of Acts chapter 16, 24 to 26. Acts 16, 24 to 26. They were bound, they were shackled. All of a sudden they prayed. But in addition to prayer, they now praise God. And things happen. I pray that the Almighty God, through your praise, will visit your foundation Amen. and bring a change, a desirable change. Amen. Who have been received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Sadat prayed and did what again? And sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations, there will always be a visitation of foundation when you pray or when you praise. Foundation of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loose. I prophesy through the praise you will be given after now, or from now on, the Lord will visit your foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The number three thing is obedience to his word. What did I say? Obedience to his word. What is the essence of praying and singing praises when you are not in alignment with his word? In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 and 2, Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2, the Bible says that if you observe to do all that he has commanded, you will enjoy this life. This year will be extremely glorious for you. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Two, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the, unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And the now is said, different blessing. You will be blessed in the house, you will be blessed in the city, you will lend to the nation, you will not follow. What a God good blessing. That when enemies will come against you, one way they will fear many ways. These are the blessings of obedience. Please, this year, hearken unto his voice, obey him. What are the things you need to obey for you to actually attract the help from above? Number one, be a tighter. What did I say? Yeah. Be a tighter. Whether you like it or you don't like it, it's too late for you to run home. You are ready. You are come to church. You will hear it. You are ready. Be a tighter. In the book of Malachi chapter 3, 8 to 12, Malachi chapter, you will see the blessing. It does say that if you do this, this is what I am going to be doing for you. And you know he's not a liar. Why are you not not doing it? Simple. We a man rob God, yet he have robbed me. But you say, where are we robbing? In tithes and offerings. Ye have caused me a cause for he have robbed me. Even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the store, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now hearing, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field. See the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you what? Blessed. Bless, for ye shall be a delightsome lamb. Say the Lord of hosts. Why are you not, not paying your tithe if you are not paying your tithe? It is the devil that is cheating you. You want to attract the hand of God, be a tighter. God said, I bring all the time and put me to test whether I will not do this thing. A tighter will always keep going higher. 
is not you calculating your salary cannot even be enough. That is one of the things that the devil uses to actually get people not to pay their tithes. But they don't know that when you are attracting the miracle of the hand of God into that situation, meaning that you will be taking care of beyond what you are making. And that one is a miracle. Jesus Christ told them to bring five loaves of bread to feed five thousand plus. And it was remaining after twelve baskets. Maybe they how come they had left more than what they even started with. That is what happened when you're a tighter. The, the person will just come. Your head will just be okay. And, but if somebody is not paying tight, the devil will take 20% minimum from that person. And the person he does not know. And the person will be saying that this, this one is he he, feeling cool, not knowing he or she is a fool. In the book of Genesis 47, you see there, Genesis 47, 26 and 27. Joseph made a law forever that everyone should bring one fifth to Pharaoh. Everyone in the land, except the land of the Goshen. Uh, except Goshen. Goshen happened to be the land of the priests. And in the New Testament, you see that God has made those priests ongoing. Except the children of God, Pharaoh, who is a type of the devil, has no right over to tax them. But anyone that is not a priest that is not submissive to the law, God, no problem, the devil has the right. And they not made it a law over the land of Egypt until this day that Pharaoh should have the fifth. One fifth is equal to 20 percent. In case you want to do that calculation, God is asking for 10 percent. The devil has the right of 20 percent on who you don't pay. And said the land of the priest only which became non pharaohs And when you read the scripture in Revelation, I think one thing that said that he has made us kings and priests. You can connect the scripture and decipher and know what God is saying. Ah, how will the devil take 20 million? Ah, he has been taking it. Sickness will come. Something will be spoiled. The money will go softly. The person is not really even seeing it. And at the end of the day, the money will not be enough. But the tiger, the people seeing that they are getting better and better. The grace to be a consistent tiger, receive now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing you need to obey is false fruits. Whenever the earth is beginning like this, we talk about false fruits, but people don't want to hear. Whether you don't want to hear, I will tell you. That is my role as your father in the Lord in this place. To tell you. The things that God has told us or commanded us and the things that have been helping us to even rise. In this church, for years since inception, you have been paying for suit. As a parish, I'm not saying individual. Why would we? So people don't know secret. They say, I can't happy. How come they are going? How come they are number three in the whole of the whole region of 2,000 plus church? They don't know. When you key into the law of God, it doesn't matter where you are located, you will be catapulted to the to this high. False food, the false income. You are always so some people say, ah, it's hard. I say, no problem, pay the first week now. Out of the four weeks, divide your salary into four. Lord, this one I may not be able to pay like God. I'm just starting now. I will develop strength later. First week, this one is my first food. The other three quarter, then pay your normal tithe on that. God will understand and He will help you. And the blessing of a false filter is that you can never remain on that level the next time for a long time. A false filter, false food, year by year, Nehemiah chapter 10, 35. Nehemiah chapter 10, 35. Let me say that when you should bring it year by year into a please pay your first food. I'll pay for school this year. I've told people it's not the regular for school that I pay. It's not just for my income. Every line of business that I do, the first that comes, I release it unto God. Gifts. First food, first gift cash. I've already received that one. I've given it to God. First gift kind. I'll release it unto God. One man of God came to see me on that. And somebody has blessed me with that. 
We can always try to give to who we like to give that will be representing God. The person will not know, the person will just think that I'm giving gifts. They don't know that it's not so that I'm giving to God through him or her. Give it, and you will see that you, the people will be saying, how did this person do it? They don't know where the grace is coming from. It's the great true obedience. Whenever I do my professional work, the first one that comes, I release as false food. Anything, any line of business, the first one is false food to you. And God has been doing it. And God will say to you. Amen. Number three of me before prayer. I can't even remember the one. Number four. When we are talking about offering, we don't need to talk about offering. Let's say tithe and offering. In your offering, when God is leading, you don't be giving the same amount. Don't be giving the same. You are not pending. You are not pending. Your, I'm telling you my own secret. I started somewhere. If I know where I, where I started, what I was giving, and where I am. And if there are 25 services, I give the IES. I still give. I don't need anybody to come and supervise me. I know how God is opening the heavens. You cannot fool God. You can fool man, you cannot fool God. And you need to actually step up. If truly God has lifted you up, it should reflect in your offering. That's why I said that you have robbed me in time and in another day, in offering. I thought it's by the Lord. Even in offering, some of us are giving far lower. If you give the same amount with the same person, the person close to you, God sees what he blesses you with. Say that you are not doing well. And somebody else may give. 15 naira or 20 naira, God will tell you that what you are doing with. You know, the, God knows everything about the person. But this one said, I'm giving you because it is the highest denomination. You think that you are giving life offering. How many, how many million do I give this to you per, per, per month? That you are thinking that you are, you are giving to me in your sight. It is important for us to have this understanding to go high, to fly. God has told us that it's our time to fly. Then another point, starving, still worship. Starving this year. Don't be coming to church and just be saying, they will say prayer, you will say amen. Do something in the house of God. In the book of Exodus 23, 25 and 26, Exodus 20. In the religious sector of God, there are people that are high and mighty. They are in the ocean department. They are in the sanitation department. They are bank managers. Before the vice president became vice president, he was usher. He do something and God will lift you high. By the time you are feeling too big to do small things for God, God will consider you too small to do big things. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. 26. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill, long life you will fulfill your destiny. Serve him. When you serve him, in the book of Malachi chapter 3, 16 and 17, if I 17, Malachi chapter 3, 17, he, he, he's still there over and over again. So if you have not been serving, no problem. The day of ignorance, do something. If it is publication department, you, you work online, do something. If it is to come and clean the house of God, do something. If it is to usher in the people that are coming for the first time, there are so many departments in this hour, prayer department. But do something. We'll be starting workers in training next Sunday now. Let it not be that you are hearing this word. You are not serving and you just walk away like that. Because you have heard it. It is already written in heaven that you have heard it. I pray that this year you will fly high. Amen. However, if you are living in sin, all these things they make no sense if they are not aligned. To God. I hear you are struggling with one habit or the other. Oh, you, you really, in your heart of heart, you want to do right. But you find yourself compromising. It's because you lack the power. And you know, you're for a lot of us, but it comes to the time that you will make a conscious effort to acknowledge that you are not living right and to confess your sin, 
forsake your sin and the grace will come and it starts lifting you up. Shall we go ahead? If you are here, you know you are struggling with one thing or the other. And you want today the power of God to come into your life. Not just like those guys were rescued. From down, down, down below, God can come to rescue you and take you out of that sinful life. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand and I'll be praying for you. God bless you. God bless you, man. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let the ushers visit. Give the cards to the people that are lifting their hands so that we will be praying for them. God bless you. Any other person? Even if you are online, just signify. All the people that have received the card, all the people that intend to make this commitment. Can you repeat after me? Say, my Heavenly Father, thank you for your word that has come. I am sorry for all the wrongs that I have done. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Make me whole. Make me holy. Help me to live right throughout this year till I see you in glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, all the people that have made this confession, wherever they are, the ones here, and maybe the ones that may be online, whatever nation that they could be feeling us from, Father, reach out to them with your grace. Lift them up from where they are and take them to the very top in righteousness. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. If you are here, you will receive any card from any angle of the auditorium. Just feel it and return to the ocean. Shall we rise to our feet? I want you to open your mouth and pray and say, Father, Father. say, Father, Father. send help to me in any area I'm trapped in the name of Jesus. Any area I'm trapped, take me out. Take me up and take me out. The things that are impossible, the things that only can not buy, are the things you have done for me.
Commander Chester into a burial service as a part of God's move in this end time revival. At the evening service holds this Tuesday right here in the church auditorium, time is 6 30 to 7 30 pm. God bless you even as you attend. Thursday's faith clinic holds by 6 30 to 7 30 pm. Please don't miss it. The welfare department appreciates everyone who has been giving as regards the welfare of others. For those who are interested in giving their financial contributions towards the less privileged, kindly see the church secretary for that purpose. God bless you even as you do so. And you are, and the way you are thinking, 
ask for me to touch and open your eyes to see rightly, and your opinion shall be altered in the right direction to your safety and success. And finally, God said that you tell someone this. Get set for the relocation of promotion, which had not come over this year because you were not ready for it then. But now you have been made perfectly ready. So embrace it when it shows up. Let someone shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Please, we are glad to have you in our midst. If today is your first time of worship with us in KRP, just stand up wherever you are and wait to the church. Please, wherever you are, overflow. Yeah, this serious church. Please, do we have anybody for the first time? Anybody worship with us for the very first time? That's not, that's not true. Please, where are they? <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody that knows that the help that you are going to be receiving all through this year will come from abroad, Canada, America, Afghanistan. Five to six fifteen. Let me pray for a tight in the afternoon. Please rise to your feet as we normally pray for titles every first Sunday of the month. And everyone that intends to be a titan, maybe you just joined us and you just intend to be part of this mission, you can also join them. Father, thank you for the title, the one that you are packing to your commandment as per titan. Father, all the promises, let it be made manifest in their life in the name of children. Every devourer in any guise in your life, let them be removed according to the word of the Lord. Let the blessing that there will not be room enough for you to receive be released unto you throughout this year. You will never get to any tight corner that God will not respond to you in the name of Jesus. Money will mean money in your hand. Favor will make joy in your life. And people will see that it pays to be faithful in this title in your own life. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. All of the workers, if you are a worker, rise to your feet or remain standing. Father, I commit the workers in this house, the one that you have drawn to yourself. It is within your word that you have not called the children of Jacob to serve me in vain. Father, I reward this one for all they do. Amen. It is also written that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. That this is the heritage of the servants of God. They, everybody claims it, but they don't know the the later portion is telling who this promise happened to be, the servant of God. Father, from now on, no weapon that will be from against this one, let none of them prosper. Amen. Work on them. Amen. Work with them. Amen. Work through them. Amen. Work for them. Amen. And work against every force that is trying to work against their promise. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. It's time to go. Or oh, you still want to stay in church? Yes. Okay, you preach to yourself. I want you to snap picture because you are wearing. You, I don't mind. You are, I, I will leave myself. If you come to my office, snap with me. I don't mind. Just snap. At least this one that you are wearing. Some of us don't wear this kind of attire. And God will help us. Shall we rest our feet? On the road we must be.
will help you to get things right in the name of Jesus. He will also help you to serve him forever. And he will bless you mightily. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We will talk now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah.